folks, and welcome back to Concilium Watch. I'm Austin, and for this week's video, we are building lists for Vanilla Yuching. Vanilla armies are different from sectorial armies in that you have access to everything the faction has to offer, with the trade-off being you have lower availability to those units, and obviously there are no fire teams. The plethora of options available and immense amount of rules in Vanilla armies can dissuade some new players from jumping whole hog into Vanilla straight off. However, that's what your friends here at Concilium Watch is here for, to pick through the options to give you viable choices for your journey into Vanilla N4. We at Concilium Watch also highly recommend Code 1 for new players to get your feet wet learning all of these said rules. You will still need all the basics for running a Vanilla list that you do in a Sectorial. They are attack pieces, units with high burst weapons for active turn shooting, defensive pieces, Units with usually long-range weapons to be put on ARO or to be midfield deterrents and or roadblocks. Midfield specialists to push buttons and complete the mission. And order monkeys, because the more orders you have, the more you can do. Remember that these lists are geared towards for new players. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so Vanilla Yu Ching. We're in Army 7. We click Yu Ching. And as you can see, they have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of options. So many options to choose from. If I had started Vanilla when I first started, I would have been like, nah, it's too much to go over. Way too much to get into. I don't even know what's good and what's bad. But again, like I said, that's what we're here for to help you along. So... First thing is we need a lieutenant. Now, the lieutenant I'm going to be showing you all but one of the list is going to be the exact same lieutenant. It is a very obvious lieutenant, but he is the bet one of the best lieutenants that you could possibly bring. And that is the Daoying Operative Control Unit. He is a medium infantry. He's got whip 14 and camouflage. Now, the reason that he has or not the reason that he has camouflage, but he's got camouflage, so it's harder for your opponent to come out and just kill your lieutenant straight off. They're really going to need a template weapon to do so. And what makes the Dao Ying really so great is he's got a lieutenant plus one order. So that lieutenant plus one order is going to be really nice, especially since Yu Ching as a whole has a lot of really good NCO options. And we are going to be bringing one of those said wonderful NCO options in this list. Actually, in most of the list, because why would you not? They're that good. So we're going to start off with our Dao Ying Lieutenant. And we need one of those fantastic NCOs that I was just mentioning. And that NCO is going to be the Moang. I know that I'm pronouncing it wrong, but I don't care. It is the Moang. Moang is an HI who's got courage. He's got immunity shock, mimetism minus three, stealth, no wound end cap, and total terrain, BS 13. Five armor, six BTS, two wounds. Two wounds and no wound end cap. That's a lot. That's a whole lot. Moangs are absolutely fantastic, and you have three NCO options here, being a multi-rifle, Red Fury, or a Spitfire. We're bringing the Spitfire and his Flamin' Spear, Heavy Pistol, Close Combat Weapon, 1.5 SWC, and 47 points. That is a fantastic unit for you to pump your orders into. And remember that he's getting two additional orders from the Yao Ying. Now, we need another... I'm putting another hit piece in this list. I'm actually putting three total, but this next one I'm going to show you is not going to be the meat of the list. They're not there to be the star of the show, as it were. They are here to be a deterrent and make your enemy say, I really need to get rid of this, or it's just going to bug me all game long. And that's going to be one of the fantastic remotes that Yu Ching has to offer, and that is the Rishi. Why, you ask? Because the Rushi has MSV2. And so he can shoot through smoke. And he's got BS12, which isn't bad. Not bad at all. So we are going to be bringing the Rushi and his Spitfire. So now I have two Spitfires in this list. One can absolutely just plain shoot through smoke as if it wasn't there. 
Now, we're going to be getting to our smoke throwers here in a bit, but we do need midfield specialists. Now, in my honest opinion and humble opinion, there is no better specialist than the Guilang skirmishers. Guilangs are probably top three skirmishers in the entire game. And that reason being is number one, whip 14, because they're going to complete the mission and they've got whip 14 to do it. And also they've got MSV one. So they can already see through a whole bunch, see through smoke. Yes. It's going to be at a minus six afterward, but just shoot. If you're trying to shoot somebody and they're throwing smoke has no effect whatsoever. You're still going to be able to shoot them. And it's not going to be a face-to-face roll. So, Guilangs are absolutely fantastic. they got some great options here. We are going to be bringing the Ford Observer Combi Rifle Flash Pulse Shock Mines for 26 points. And for 4 points more and .5 SWC is the Hacker. This is not a killer hacker. This is a regular hacking device. So, you're going to get all of the things that come with a regular hacking device. Now, we do need our said smoke throwers, and we have our Shaolin Warrior Monks. Shaolin Monks just got a new sculpt, too, and so it looks fantastic. So Shaolin Monks, they're going to be our smoke throwers. they got Fizz 13, so they're going to be throwing smoke on 16s. For this list, we're going to be grabbing the first profile for five points. That's chain rifle, smoke grenade, pistol, and shock close combat weapon for five points. We could go up to the double action close combat weapon, but it didn't have the points. I mean, you absolutely still can if you want to drop the Mo Wang NCO down to the Red Fury. But I wanted the Spitfire, and so that's why I brought it. So I am just bringing the, their main mission is just to throw smoke for the Rushi and for another thing that we are going to be bringing. Just not in this group. And the last group, the thing that we're going to put in this first group is going to be Tawu. Tawu, Mastermind, and Schemer. Now, Tawu has Mastermind and Schemer. Sorry, he has Hollow Mask. So Tawu can be anything that you want him to be that's also size 2. So you can hide him very well. But he is a fantastic scalpel to just go destroy something. Because he's got... C- CC minus six, natural born warrior. He's got a viral pistol plus one burst, a monofilament close combat weapon. And it's ridiculous. Now, we're not going to be bringing the one with the contender. We're going to be bringing the counterintelligence version for 25 points. Now, the reason that is, is going first, or if you're going set, no, if you're, yeah, if you're going first and your opponent says, I'm going to take away two orders. From your main pool, no, they're actually only going to be taking one order away. Because even if they did take two orders away, Mo Wang has NCO, and you're going to have six and two, right? Six regular orders and two irregular orders, because this is all that we're putting into group one. You're not even really losing a whole lot, even if you didn't have Tao Wu, because it would still be six and two, because if they took two away, it'd be four and two, but... The Mo Wang has NCO, so you're getting to use those two orders. So he'll still get his full six orders to go do whatever he wants to do. But because you have counterintelligence, now you get more. So they're really not taking anything away from you. But that's all that we're putting into group one. Group two, we're going to bring another thing for those Shaolins to throw smoke at besides the Rushi. And that is going to be the wonderful, insanely good Shin Warriors. Shin Warriors also have MSV2, and this is the best shot that you're going to be bringing in this list with BS14, Fizz14, Whip14, 4 Armor, 6 BTS. This thing is ungodly good. He's going to do so much work for you. So we are going to be bringing just the regular heavy machine gun Shin. We're going to put him down here in group two. Now, we need some defensive pieces to go with our Shin to go in our second group. And some of the better pieces that you could bring are more remotes. The Long Yaws. Long Yaws are just ungodly amazing at just being deterrence. They don't want to 
your opponent doesn't want to deal with them. They're going to have to because they got long range weapons and four deployment plus four inches. So they're most likely always going to be in good range with their Panzerfaust and Flamen Spear. We're going to be bringing two of the mine layer options because who doesn't want more camo tokens? Now, your opponent is absolutely going to know that these are long yaws because they are size three. And even though they have camo, they're still going to be size three. So they could be anything, even a boat. However, with the mine layer and their AP mines, not shock mines, if you set this upright and you set up your Guilangs within eight inches of your long yaw, which everybody going to know who the long yaw is, even in camo state, they can be like, okay, which one is the shock mine and which one is the Guilang? So there's a little bit more of a guessing game. Now we do need, and so we need some order monkeys to help out our shin because we can't do anything with just three orders. And the best order monkeys around are the Quangxi. Now with the Quangxi, you have to take the Celestial Guard monitor and that's where our last point of, half a point of SWC is going to come from. Gonna bring the Celestial Guard monitor and we're just going to fill it up with Quang Shi from there. You can bring a grand total of four. We are only going to have enough points for three. So now I've got six orders, really eight orders, and two irregular orders in group one and seven orders in group two. This is going to make, if you're going first, this is going to make your opponent decide, do I want to deal with the moat? Wang and the Rui Shi, who's just going to be a thorn in my side shooting through this smoke? Or am I, do I want to deal with the Shin? Do I want to take two orders away from the Shin? This is going to make your opponent just frustrated and be like, I don't know which orders, excuse me, that I should take away from. This is a good list to run in just about any single mission. I always try to run things through any list that I make through Firefight because Firefight tends to be the most balanced of all of the missions because you do have to push buttons. You do have to go kill things. You've got to complete the mission. It's a really good mission to run things through. But this is a good first list for this. And moving right along, we need to make another list. Now, the next list that we're going to make, now we've got to pop all the way out of here because Army 7 likes to mess up every now and again and switch around your units, and I like to have things in order, is we need to make a tag list. And we have two very good tags in Yu Ching, but we're going to be focused on the Blue Wolf because Blue Wolf is absolutely excellent. All right, so we're going to start out with our Dao Ying, 22 points, Lieutenant Order plus one. And let's go get our Blue Wolf, because Blue Wolf, Blue Wolf is just an excellent tag. Excellent light tag. Arm 6, BTS 6, Structure 3, Psy 6, BS Attack plus 1 damage, plus 1 burst, Berserk plus 3. Blue Wolf is incredible. I'm going to be grabbing my Blue Wolf. And we need an NCO. We need an NCO to take advantage of the Dao Ying. And, but we also need an engineer to pick the blue wolf up if the blue wolf goes down. Luckily, we have such an NCO that is also an engineer. Isn't that fantastic? And his name is Crit Cockrum. Crit Cockrum is, woo, so good. So freaking fantastic. He's durable. He's got arm three, BTS three. He's got two wounds. He's got shock immunity, as all good HI should, especially with two wounds. But the most important thing is he is a gunfighting engineer. He's got BS-13, and he's an engineer, so he can pick up your Blue Wolf when it goes down. For this one, we are going to just bring the Cockrum FTO with his multi-rifle, plus one damage, chain colt, decharges, heavy pistol, plus one burst for 36 points. Just a basic guy that we're going to run in there. And he needs a little helper, so he needs a Yao Zhao. Because Yao Zhao. Because he doesn't want to get shot going to bring this up. Why? When he has a little servant. So always bring your Yao Zhao if you're going to bring an engineer or a doctor. But we're bringing the engineer for this one. 
All right, so we do need, so we've got our attack piece. We've got our support that always goes with attack, almost always. So we need some defensive pieces. So let's go back to our long yaws. We've already talked about long yaws and how good they are. And let's go get our Gwilangs, because Gwilangs. Because Gwilangs are amazing. We're going to do the same ones that we had before. We're going to grab one FO and one Hacker. Now, what we're going to finish out this list here, this part of the list with, this first group, is going to be a Pangolang. We're going to go grab our pangolin. I've got to find the pangolin. There's a lot of stuff here, and it's hard to find sometimes. There, yep, pangolin. There it is. And we're bringing the Evo Hacker for this one. Evo Hacker is a support hacker that's going to be able to boost any of your remotes, mostly with marksmanship. But that's the end of group one. Group two, we're going back. Back to our Ruishi. Ruishi, in this case, is going to be a big attack piece for us and not just a deterrent. And it's okay to spend an entire order on the Pangoling first because the Blue Wolf also already has Tactical Awareness and Dao Ying. Cockrum is going to get the two Lieutenant Orders from Dao Ying, so you're really not losing a whole lot. You can spend an entire order on the Pangoling to give the Rishi marksmanship, and then you can just forget about the Pangoling. Pangoling no longer exists. Just hide him in a spot, set up your marksmanship on your Rishi, and forget about it. Now, we need some Order Monkeys to go with this. So let's go grab our Quangxi, because we need things for the Rishi to do stuff with. So we grab our Monitor. Monitor goes down here, and we're going to grab all four of the Quangxi this time. One, two, three, four. Quangxi are just excellent order monkeys. And we got seven points left, so let's just grab another order monkey that's going to come with us, and that's Chai Yi Flashbot. And because why would you not want Chai Yi Flashbot? He's just there to take your picture. He's going to be a big order waster for you. Chang goes up here. We're just going to put him just under the Rushi. Remember, the Rushi always ha already has a repeater on it, so you can just set up Pangolin, give it to the Rushi, and forget about it. But it goes back again to, okay, what do I want to take away from? Obviously, I'm going to want to take away from the Blue Wolf and all of his orders if you happen to be going first. But then you've got the Rishi to worry about, and you're not taking away from his orders at all, not even away from the Pangolin putting marksmanship on him. And you do have smoke in the Celestial Guard monitor. The Celestial Guard monitor does have a smoke grenade launcher. Yes, he's only shooting on an 11, but that's over a 50% chance. There's a 55% chance for your smoke to land out of sight, out of mind for your Rishi to just go shoot through things. I think is going to be a great option for you. And you need another attack piece because you can't just rely on the Blue Wolf. Blue Wolf cannot Rambo through absolutely everything, though he can absolutely try and is pretty good at it. But that's it for that list. Uh, we're going to trash him. Go back to the beginning because we need to go back to the beginning. And... Show off another list that's similar. I know we keep making it, we keep putting out a lot of monitors, Quang Chi, stuff like that, and we keep putting Long Yaws, but you're going to notice that a lot of Vanilla Yu Ching is going to set you up really well, and it's easy to get your 15 orders, and you want as many orders as possible, and Quang Chi absolutely do that. And Guilangs are just that good. It's almost a, atrocious. It's a crime not to bring them. Now, this list, we will not be bringing our Dao Ying because we're not bringing a fantastic NCO this time. We're bringing some other units that I really want to highlight that are really, really good in Vanilla Yuching. So we are going to bring two Zanshi. We're going to bring a Lieutenant and a regular. The Zanshi Lieutenant 
and a regular sand sheet. You can put them on opposite ends of your deployment zone and make your opponent have to guess which one is the lieutenant and which one isn't. Sometimes they get lucky, sometimes they don't. And then they've wasted a whole bunch of units just to take out an order monkey. But for those two orders, you get an additional order in just your regular orders for the same price as a Dao Ying. Dao Ying is obviously better being camouflage and providing three orders on his own, especially if something is going to have a have NCO. But since we're not bringing NCO, two Zenshi are perfectly fine to bring as your LT and as a spare. Now, what are we now? If we're not bringing NCO, what could we possibly be bringing? You ask. I'm glad that you asked. We're going to be bringing the Sujian Immediate action unit. Now, these are structure units. These are not wound units, so you're going to need an engineer to pick this thing up if it goes down. But we're going, they've got two profiles, a heavy shotgun plus one burst and a Panzerfaust, or the Spitfire light flamethrower and a Panzerfaust. We're definitely bringing the Spitfire. 54 points. Because he's just fantastic. If you want me to gush about the Sujian, then you need to go check out our video on ISS. Now, we do need a engineer to bring him up. Thankfully, we have another good engineer that's not Crit Cockrum. We have another really good engineer that's not Crit Cockrum. I just got to find him. There he is, Chung Hee Jong, Chief Mechanical Engineer. He's got, a Diaz, he's got a deactivator, gizmo kit, and a repeater. He has a repeater on him. He's got a BS attack plus one damage, dodge plus one inch, engineer, shock immunity. He's got two profiles. We're bringing the combi and light rocket launcher and D charges for 30 points. Now, you obviously, you can't bring an engineer without bringing a Yao Zhao because Yao Zhao is just going to help him out and help him do things. I really like having an engineer that can also shoot things. It makes me really happy. All right, so we've got an attack piece. We've got our lieutenant. We need some defensive pieces, so we are going back to our long yaws because long yaws are just that good. We are going to grab both of our mine layer options. Always try to go for the mine layer options. You might have to drop a point and drop some SWC, and the regular long yaws for 16 points are absolutely just as viable. The mine layers are just that much better just because of mine layer and having the AP mines already on the field. And we are going to go get our Gui Langs because Gui Langs. Now, this one, we're not bringing the FO. We're bringing the hacker and we're going to bring the mine layer. Now, why the mine layer? Because we're going to drop this deployable repeater because he has shock mines and a deployable repeater. Shock mines will end up as camo tokens. Deployable repeater will not, but you can drop the deployable repeater when you put this guy on the board during deployment and put down his deployable repeater within eight inches of him. And I'm going to show you why in just a second, because we're going to make a nice little net, a nice little hacking net, because people are going to want to, your opponent is really going to want to like stop that Sujian at all cost. So go ahead and having a hacker and having a repeater in the middle of the field is just going to give you a leg up. Now we need a new group because that's eight orders. That's all we're putting into group one. And we're going to bring a really nice unit. Probably one of my favorite units is the Yanwo Invincible Fire Support Heavy Regiment. These guys are absolutely disgustingly good. And the one that we're going to bring is the Hyper Rapid Magnetic Cannon for 1.5 SWC and 48 points, throwing five dice. And somebody did the math. This thing crits like a lot. With BS-14, he crits like over 20% of the time when you're shooting on active turn. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous how much you can just crit somebody off the board with the Yanwo. Absolutely fantastic attack piece. And he's not even bad in defense because of bioimmunity, so his armor or BTS is going to be five, no matter what. 
unless AP, of course, but that's going to be armor eight or BTS eight in cover. So it's just ridiculous. Yan Wo is disgusting. Now we need another hacker because we already have one hacker. We need another hacker. Now a really good hacker and a often slept on hacker is need to find him are the celestial guards. I just need to find the celestial guards. As I said, they have a bunch of stuff here. There they are. Celestial guards. Why are the celestial guards a slept on hacker? Because you don't think like I think of a hacker, you don't think of a whole you don't think of like just a regular line infantry. But these are good because they have BTS3 and Whip 14. That's a good hacker. That's a plenty good hacker that you can just keep in your backfield and let the repeaters do their work. So we're going to bring a regular hacking device. Isn't that amazing? So Chief Zhang's going to be moving up and around the field. And you're going to have your Guilang mine layer that's already going to have a deployable repeater in the midfield. So why not have two hackers that can just be like, I'm going to target you. I'm going to target you. I'm going to target you. I'm going to oblivion you. You have all of these options now when you have two hackers. And we need order monkeys for Yan Wo to go do things. And so we're going back to our Quang Chi. So we grab our monitor. We're going to go down here in group two. And we're going to grab all four of our Quang Chi. One, two, three, four. Mostly just because Quang Chi are going to be covering your deployment zone because there are a lot of parachutist deployment zone troops and a chain rifle is the perfect weapon for covering deployment zones. And you can just spread these Quang Chi out all over the place. They do not need to be within eight inches of each other. You can absolutely just quell their impetuous order. Quang Chi are excellent for, def for defensive missions. Quang Chi have a lot, a lot, a lot of uses. Absolutely use them. But mostly, they're order monkeys because they are regular and let your uh, hit piece in your in said group do all of the work for them. And Yan Wo is really good at it. But that's it for that group. Now for this last list that I'm going to show you is probably my favorite list. And I call this list the Lonesome Chai. Why do I call this list the Lonesome Chai? Because everything else is camoed. Everything else is camouflaged. So the only thing when you hand over your courtesy list to your opponent, all they're gonna see is a Chai on your list. And it's hilarious. So we are gonna grab our Dao Ying, Lieutenant plus one order. And we are going to grab another big baddie, the Hacktow Special Unit. Hacktow are disgusting. Absolutely disgusting because of hidden deployment. So you can just put them on the field. Don't forget about them. Obviously, how can you forget about Hacktow? And their order doesn't even show up until after they've done something. They have to move for their order to activate. They got Mimetism minus six. So having a Mimetism minus six unit on a BS-14 just makes it insanely dangerous. And we're going to be bringing the heavy machine gun, nanopulsar, pistol, and DA close combat weapon for 63 points. They are a lot of points, but they are so worth it. So worth it. They can just end entire, make your opponent just sit down and cry, I hate the Hacktow. Hacktow are <clears throat> insanely good. Now we need another camouflage. All the rest of these units, except for our Chai that we are going to add last, are all going to be camo. So we need another good hit piece, and that hit piece is going to be the Dao Fei tactical section. Dao Fei are also ridiculously good being BS 13. These are another camouflage heavy infantry unit. And they start in the midfield, which is all kinds of disgusting. We're going to be bringing the Spitfire, D-Charges, Pistol, Shot, Close Combat Weapon, 1.5 SWC for 55 points. Dalfe is going to do work. Hacktow is going to do even more. <coughs> Excuse 
Excuse me. All right, so we're keeping going with this everything being camo. Grab a ninja because ninja. Ninjas are also really disgusting. For this one, we're going to be bringing the killer hacking device and his tactical bow, pistol, DA close combat weapon for 29 points. The killer hacker is going to help protect all of your HI, being the hack tau and the Dao Fei, being a killer hacker, and can really, you don't want to really shoot with this guy. You don't really want to shoot whatsoever unless you just have the perfect opportunity to do so. He's there to get into close combat with things and just mess things up. And he's really good at doing that, especially with his mimetism minus six. I mean, that's not going to take any effect in close combat, but still, he's going to be hard to hit. And his martial arts level three. So that's he's going to be really good to hit things with, especially with a CC of 23 putting him at CC 26. He's really going to rock somebody's face. Remember with the hidden deployment that their order does not show up until after you have activated them. So on your active turn, this is only going to show eight. This is only going to show eight regular orders. But remember, Hagtow has plus two orders because he has NCO. All right, so we need more camo. Let's go ahead and, and let's get our Guilang because Guilangs are disgusting. So we are going to be grabbing, in this particular case, we're going to be grabbing the Ford Observer and the Mine Layer. And at this time, you do not want to put down the Portable Repeater. You want to put down the Shock Mine because you want more camo. Because you want more camo. And Guilangs do that. And we need another we need another midfield specialist, but we can only bring two Guilangs. So what else can we bring? We are going to be bringing the Zensha from Invincible Army. Now the best FO, in my opinion, is the submachine gun, Panzerfaust, and shock mines for 35 points. That FO. Because that Panzerfaust is going to do work for you, already being in the midfield, so he's Panzerfaust having HMG ranges, most likely always going to be in good range, especially coming from their deployment zone. Having one wound and no wound in cap, that's just a very durable HI that is camouflaged in the midfield. Sensor are absolutely fantastic. We're going to just put you up here. All right, so we need defensive pieces. So we're going back to, you guessed it, our Long Yaws, because Long Yaws never not in a vanilla Yu Ching list. I've never seen it, at least, and I bring two in every single list because their availability is two, and I max them the hell out. And you want more camo, always, so bring your two mine layers. All right, so you got nine orders, and it is... So let's go grab... Our lonesome Chai Yi. Dun dun Chai. I've messed that up somehow. I didn't grab the NCO version. That's what it was. I thought I'd. I thought I messed up. I had messed up. I didn't grab the NCO version. So four point five SWC and three hundred points. And this is how many camo tokens that you're going to have on the field at deployment. One from the Dao Ying, none from the Hack Tao, two from Dao Fei, none from the Ninja, three from Zensha, four for Gui Lang, five, six from the Gui Lang Mine Layer because of the Mine Layer, seven, eight from Long Ya, nine, ten from Long Ya. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So you're going so your opponent is going to see 10 camo tokens on the field. They're only going to see and they're going to see the Chai Yi, obviously. Obviously they're going to think something is suspicious only having eight orders. But are they really going to suspect a ninja and a Hacktow NCO? This is a really fun list, really fun to play with and it will just wreck the enemy. It will wreck your opponent. But anyway, guys, these are the four lists that I think that you should start out with if you're going to get into Vanilla Yu Ching. Focus on these 
units. So you're really looking at getting into Guilangs. You want to get into Long Yaws. Long Yaws are not out yet. So you can use other size three models like like the Chai Yi. So just grab a couple of Chai Yi and pretend or other remotes from the remote pack and make them believe that they're Long Yaws for the time being until Long Yaws actually come out. Uh, your absolute, but all these other attack pieces, invest in them. Most of them are bl- most of them are blisters, and they're really easy to find. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share all of this content that we're trying to create, and hope that you like all of the content. We'll see you guys next time.